Uh, this is one of the hardest problems uh, that we are going to solve technologically. Uh, so actually in the last uh, three months, we have increased our projection for autonomous taxi networks. Now in the $3,000 base case, uh, we uh, assign a 50% probability to autonomous. So it's a really hard problem. But if anyone is going to solve it, our confidence that Tesla is that right. company has gone up dramatically as but, we've learned more But I guess when I ask it, you, when Elon says that robo taxis by the end of 2020, when you project, what, what numbers would you therefore have put in in 2000, I think 19 when he said that, or 18 when he was saying that? Yeah, again, five year. Uh, no, I know. Our, our, okay. our probability but, last year, when, when, and, or whenever he right. said that, was lower. I think we had a 25% probability. So you, so, okay, so do you, do you discount what he says by what, what, by what number? That's he, what, he, Elon, a, Elon, if you really look at what he's doing at SpaceX and at Tesla, he's changing our world. Oh, right? uh, you're not going to so get me to disagree with that. I think vehicles, it's simply about the valuation and he, how investors should think about these he numbers. He was the first person when I, when we were talking about autonomous net, net, uh, taxi networks, he said the last mile is going to be so hard. I'm not sure it can be done. This was about five years ago, right. maybe, maybe longer. Uh, the resources that he's putting into this program and the talent that he's attracting and the advancements that he's making uh, and, and that are possible now that artificial tr uh, intelligence training costs are dropping by 68% per year. Uh, we think the probability of autonomous is going up. I don't disagree, but does it frustrate you? No, I, he's, a, he's a visionary and you know, he, want, he, he sees the future so clearly Right. The fact that he changed from saying last mile, I don't think that's going to, there'll have to be some combination system. He changed from that with his partner, Andre Karpathy, right. who is one of the most brilliant artificial intelligence engineers. Uh, I, I think this is going to happen in the next few years. He is always a year or two or three too early. We adjust for that in our forecasts. What do you think about the prospect that one of Oh, the, and by the way, may yeah. I say one other Please. thing? One of the reasons Elon does that is he wants to get the supply chain in motion. And when the supply chain does not cooperate, he brings it in. He's becoming much more vertically integrated. So uh, auto suppliers and technology companies know that if they don't march to his drum right. and at his cadence, instead of these four to five year design cycles, they're not, they're going to lose the business.